in with a woman who has been on a lot of locations around the world. In fact, you might call her America's sweetheart, except she's from England. She, of course, is Julie Andrews, born in Britain and a star everywhere. In her new film, Julie plays the supportive, just short of saintly wife of husband Jack Lemon, a man neurotically confronting his 60th birthday. I'm working out the kinks. Oh, honey, honey. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I don't know. The film just as easily could have been titled All in the Family, as it was co-written and shot in Julie's house by real-life husband and director Blake Edwards. It also co-stars daughters Jennifer Edwards and Emma Walton. So how much is that life her life? It's probably... 50-50, that um, true uh, Blake did hang the story on certain incidents in our life, particularly in his life, but then it does deviate. I mean, I never was in a life-threatening situation, mm -hmm. as the character in the film is. Are you seeing Blake? Are you reacting to Jack Lemmon as you would to Blake? That's a good question. I think I really was seeing Jack. Um, it was just a... a I had to kind of somehow step aside from me and step aside from Blake and I made myself a character and, I, and Jack was a character and we were really, for want of a better word, two professionals doing their job which was bringing the film together. He knocked my socks off. Oh, I knocked off more than that. <laughs> that was the happiest time of my life. You want to hear... Um what uh, the girls had to say about you? Yes. All right. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I really do, but, well, but you're going to tell me get anyway. Ready. Well, I'll tell you what. You answer the question, and then I'll tell you what they said. <laughs> All right? All right. Um, do you have a temper? Yes. And what do they say? Not a Quick. big temper, but yes. Quick. It's over with. And it's Ooh. a surprise. She makes a lot of noise, noise. and I have no <laughs> idea what she said. You know, she's... <laughs> and they do it. <laughs> Please. Harvey, you go up to the house right now, and I'm going to. And I don't mean up to the house. I mean forever. What the hell is Now, I know you're going through some kind of personal hell right now. I know we have our problems. You hate birthdays, and you hate getting old, and all of that. But honestly, Harvey, I think you think you've got some kind of priority on those feelings. I bet you there isn't a person in this room who isn't absolutely terrified of their mortality. You better face something, my friend. You better face it. We are all going to die one day. Now, it seems to me you have three choices. You can take your own life. That's a stupid and vicious thing to do. And what kind of a legacy is that to leave your kids, hmm? Or you can look at what's right under your very nose, which is that you have three beautiful children who adore you. You have a wife who happens to think you're the best thing since chopped liver. You can take my hand. Let me be your mate. You can be my mate. Let us be equals. We'll go through the time we have left together side by side and face it, Harvey. I have to say that I am lucky, and I do feel I have it all. I do have a family that I adore, and I do adore my husband. And we have a wonderful life. There are no bleak moments. Oh, uh, no, no. Any life has, has bleak moments. I mean... Uh, um, there are ups and downs, but listen, we, we, uh, I, I have no reason to complain about anything. <laughs> How did she handle that period of time where she went from being the number one box office star in the world uh, and everybody adored her to that inevitable period where anybody who's up that high is going to be down this low? You know, the, the media will turn, the people will turn. How did she handle that? She committed herself to, to the family, which is something that she's always done. Her, her family and her marriage are the number one priority in her life. Well, I wish I didn't have to feel this. <laughs> I wish I could just turn the feeling off and not feel anything. No, don't. Don't say that. Just be grateful that you can feel. Wouldn't it be terrible to be someone who went through their whole life without feeling anything? And life's so short, Katie. You have to make every moment count. I think it would be probably awful to be someone that only did one thing and didn't have a family. Um, I mean, I'm fortunate enough to have all these wonderful girls. You've, you've met them. They're, they're great kids. Oh, yeah. And I love them so and, and uh, enjoy them so. And they... They nurture me. I mean, it's not me nurturing them. I mean, I, one knows what, especially with the two younger ones also, you know what you can bring to their lives. 
Blake and I had no idea what they were going to do to our lives. And it's, it has kind of uh, kept us fresh, kept us aware, um, stood us on our ears once in a while. Um, but it's a, ni it's a texture to life that, for me, is very important. What if the career went away tomorrow? Then I think I would be very sad. Um, because I don't think I would be half as good a mother or wife if I didn't have, if I didn't love what I do, and I do enjoy it. But I think perhaps it, you'd have to say, if the career went away tomorrow, then I'd probably find something to do. I'd, I, as long as I'm active and busy and, um, and doing something that I feel good about, that's the important thing.